Is that a helicopter? Here we go. Hey, what's going on? Seth Miranda here for um, my own channel for a change. So if you haven't noticed a little bit of a new look, I've been investing into my channel. I've woken up out of my coma and I've decided to really take more action and more effort towards this channel because you deserve better and I believe I can deliver better. So while I've upgraded the visuals, I mean, we're looking at the full uh, output of this camera finally is a Nikon Z6. Well, now I'm getting N-Log 10-bit into an Atomos recorder, but visuals will only get you so far. People will watch a janky video, but they won't listen to a janky video. If the audio is bad, you lost your audience. And as you can tell, I'm right here in my studio in Manhattan, and you are hearing a ton of reflection as I walk around this empty box of a room because that's what a studio is. It is an empty box that you fill with your imagination as quoted by Joe McNally. Well, this room has to stay open. I can't just go to the walls and start posting up foam. I can't start soundproofing the place. There's gonna be sound from outside. There's gonna be my voice bouncing off the walls because what's happening is there's nothing to absorb the sound or redirect it. When you guys throw foam on something, it's basically taking a hard surface and making it softer. It's also taking the sound that travels at right angles and kind of disrupting its pattern. So what can I do here? Well, I came up with an idea. I'm not even sure if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it together and you're gonna go from this sound to the sound after, and you guys can let me know down below if this worked. So here's my plan. I need something that's temporary, that I can put into place, that's also versatile to let me move around, which means I need a wall that I can move around. Well, what's a wall that I can move around? A V-flat. And you know who makes good V-flats? V-flat world. This is a V-flat world V-flat, and what makes it so special as opposed to other V-flats is it folds in half. A V-flat normally is like eight feet tall. It's two giant sheets of uh, foam core that's white on one side, black on another. Sometimes there's silver board, matte silver. I've seen gold ones. People paint them colors. There's, there's all sorts of uh, different styles out there. This isn't a V-flat video, and this is not sponsored by V-flat world at all. Uh, but it is a pretty unique piece of gear because it's something that can easily be shipped. It can be stored pretty relatively easily, like under a bed or against the wall pretty easily, not needing to have tall ceilings and stuff like that. Maybe you're in a small space, like a home studio, garage. Maybe you're doing something in a very small area that you can't set up forever and you always have to constantly break down. There's a lot of reasons for it, but I just thought it's a really cool thing to bring to your attention. Uh, and what am I looking for here? A removable wall, basically. Somewhere that I don't have to permanently tack up foam, something that I can move around as I see fit. Maybe I don't want this to be on the background anymore. Maybe I want that to be the background or whatever. I can actually move it around with me without altering the space itself. Now, the other thing is I'm not a sound guy and I know that we need different microphones for different things and a lav mic is pretty much gathering all the sound around it because you're moving your head so much. And I prefer to wear a lav because most of the time I'm doing stuff on this channel, it's a live demo. I'm shooting live and I'm walking around and moving and even when I'm not facing you guys, we still have the microphone in play. And I don't feel like having to invest in another mic. I don't wanna have to worry about more gear or how to even be within range of it or if I'm like, you know, to the side of it or whatever, or be married to a position period for the mic. So that's why I'm going this route. Now, what are we gonna do with this? Well, this is a foldable V-flat, right? So you're looking at it right there and it's held together by Velcro. This is from the very first run of V-flat world V-flats where they only had white Velcro and putting it onto black meant you were limited as far as using this as a black background when you wanted to bring it into play for that reason. So I'm just gonna sacrifice two of these and do what I'm thinking of doing, which is setting them up in this kind of a pattern. So as an L pattern, think of it this way. If I put foam on it, just like this, some really cheap sound foam, this actually is packing material. I found it to be cheaper than acoustic foam. And I would give you guys the link for it, but I guarantee you the link that I found is gonna be gone by the time you guys watch this video because there's no name to the brand and you know how Amazon can be sometimes. I do know there's differences in foam. There's densities, thickness, what it's made of. What I'm gonna run into as a problem with this is one, it's super thin. I guarantee you it'll dry out over time, crack, crumble, turn into dust. I'm just trying this out before I invest it into some legit foam, which is three, four times the price, just going with this. And if it works, it works, right? If it doesn't, okay. I just have some, uh, some foamy boards, I guess, but I bet you I could use them as a background somehow if I wanted to. Uh, but 
if I put it along the V-flat and I set these V-flats up to be two walls this way and then two walls coming back, like two 90 degree angles, like a big U, it's like I'm talking into a soundboard. The only thing I'm worried about is reflection off of reflectors or what I'm talking into, you know, the recorder I'm speaking into, reflection off of the light sources, things like that. But it is what it is. At least we have a better shot at having some audio that doesn't have so much reflection, so much echo, maybe even absorb some of the sound that's coming from outside. This is New York. You guys hear helicopter sirens and all sorts of things happening out there. But this is a relatively easy fix, not a lot of cost, and it's a pretty cool use for a V-flat because even if you don't get two of them, you can set them up like a V and then talk into the corner if you're doing something like narrations for your YouTube channel or you, know, you need to do voiceover work in a relatively small environment, you don't wanna set up a whole thing, or maybe you're in a space that you cannot permanently alter like I'm in and you just need something you can move around. This is kind of an easy way to do it. Uh, yeah, it is foam core, you can make it out of other stuff. This is just a suggestion if you wanna do it this method. So why don't we just go right to the time lapse and uh, get this thing built, see if we hear a difference and see if this video is even worth doing and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. So I got one and two done, and as you can see, it took quite longer than I thought it would. It is winter here in New York, so it does get dark pretty quickly. I lost all my light back there, so really quick. I'm gonna take a Profoto B10 and use the modeling light to break up this black background. Let's see how it works because they claim you can use your video. Let's find out. So this is that full blast, and yeah, not bad. I will take that any day of the week. All right, so we've built both V flats and we have foam on the top half of them. So now I'm gonna put them into play. Right now you're hearing me without any boards in front of me. Let's see if we get any difference in, as far as the echo goes. Remember, if this does not work, it was all your idea. You guys were like, do this, this would be smart. This is a great idea, you should try it. Remember that, remember that. If it does work, you're welcome. I'm totally glad I thought of it. Let's try this. Okay, so now you guys are hearing me with the foam core in place, the V flats with the foam across here and this way. So there should be a difference. Let me know if there is. There's still gonna be a reflection because I have a ceiling. And of course there's hard surfaces like there's a reflector right here as my fill light. And even if I didn't have this, there would be a floor. And if there wasn't a reflector here and I was working with floor, I'd probably throw some uh, duvetine or some sort of like crumpled up uh, fabric on the floor just to eat up some more of that bounce. But it should sound better. In fact, if I step back here, you should hear a completely, totally different sound. Same mic. Same room, but when I step in here, it should sound completely different to you guys. Even if it's marginally better, I think it's worth it. Let me show you guys this setup really quick. Let me pull out the, uh, the Osmo and uh, give you some guys some BTS. Okay, so this is what it looks like from my perspective. We have a U-shaped V-flat action going on here. The foam is adhered to a double stick tape, which again, took a little more time than I thought. Maybe I should have stapled it, but I feel like that would have let go after a while. I could have spray glued it, but it gets really messy and you know, overspray and everything like that. Um, I've seen people use Velcro and all other sorts of things, but I think uh, the double stick tape, while it did take a de decent amount of time, seems to be the easiest way to go about it, especially if you want to reposition it at all. All right, well, that's going to do it for me. Uh, I'd like to get home. Uh, it's uh, some reasonable hour. <laughs> I hope this was uh, somewhat helpful to some of you people out there. I hope that it does add some added uh, production value to whatever you're doing out there. And I know how it is to not have a proper space to uh, customize and always just walk into and, and live in as your space to create. So this is kind of a decent option as far as something that can just be taken down and stored somewhere or pulled out as you need it, so on and so forth, or moved around a room, however you guys wanna put it. All right, so I hope this was at all helpful to you guys. And let me know if this was just ridiculous. I don't know, I just thought it was something cool to try out and with you guys along the way. And this is kind of how my channel is gonna go. It's more edited, concise videos rather than going live for an hour or two with shooting a demo, which I think is cool and a lot of fun. Everybody
everybody gets something out of it, but they aren't really helping my channel out. And I think I can do better and you guys deserve better. So uh, if you like this format, if you like this video, hit me with a comment down below, hit like, don't forget to share this video around, hit subscribe and the bell for more videos like this. And if you guys want to see any of my work or know, figure out who I am, last X witness on virtually all social media. And if you want to hang out with me live, you can catch me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash last X witness. And we have a great discord full of photo nerds that can give you all the support you need with any troubleshooting you might need, no matter what camera system, lighting, whatever. Great community in the Discord. And also you can share some work there, which is kind of the big thing because what's the point of shooting if you can't share it? And you have to get it beyond your friends and maybe have it looked at by people who are in the same struggle as you or understand what they're really looking at and maybe give you some decent feedback for you to grow with. And we also do photo critiques on that channel. So uh, join me there. Don't forget everything. You can find me on Last X Witness. I'll see you on Twitter. Hit me up on Instagram, whatever. I don't care. I'm just glad you're here. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. I, I never know how to dismount these things, but... Uh, I did the like subscribe thing, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Later. Peace.